Hello chess friends this is your shweta and welcome to my channel shweta's chess corner if this is the first time on our channel then start now by clicking the red subscribe button today in our video we going to see the game of pillsbury versus marshall now let's get started we start with the queen's pawn opening d4 d5 c4 queen's gambit e6 declines it knight c3 c5 the tarash defends knight f3 knight c6 bishop f4 c takes d4 knight takes d4 here a6 this a6 move was played to prevent knight c b5 this is a blunder this move loses his positional advantage instead of a6 he could have continued with knight f6 developing his knight For if if now white plays knight c b five, e five attacking both our knight and bishop. Knight takes c six, b takes c six, bishop into e five, c into b five, black gains a piece. Now moving back, black plays a six. to which white reply was e4 queen b6 knight b3 d4 attacking the knight knight e2 e5 an impressive move attacking our bishop bishop d2 bishop g4 instead of bishop g4 if he plays knight f6 then knight g3 bishop e6 bishop e2 H five, H four, and castles. Black has a positional advantage, and his rook is on the open file. So moving back, black plays bishop g four. Bishop to g four. F three attacking the bishop. Bishop e six retreats it. Knight g three. D three. This is a strategic mistake in a good position. Black sacrifices an important and superior control on the d five, which should win for him. he does not anticipate the brilliant trap which will white springs on him better was to play a5 by playing d3 he loses a superior pawn a5 was a better move after d3 white plays c5 attacking our queen C five attacking the queen. Now white has some advantage in the center, for which black defeats it by playing bishop into c five, knight into c five, queen into c five. 
This is the exchange variation. Rook c1, queen b6, knight f5, bishop into f5, e into f5, queen into b2. Now black has an excellent position on the board. Now black has an excellent position on the board. If he plays bishop into c5, he has an extraordinary winning. Now let's see how the game went. Moving back, now instead of c5, white plays bishop into d3. For which black castles, queen e2, knight d4, knight into d4, queen into d4, the exchange variation. Now black thinks that he has a winning position. But after white's immediate castle, Now let's see what happens when black takes the white bishop for free. After queen takes d3, he would fall into an instructive and entertaining trap. After queen takes d3, bishop a5, an extraordinary move attacking both the queen and the rook. After queen takes c4 check, queen takes c4 check. Bishop takes c4 and rook takes d8 is checkmate. So queen takes d3 is not a good move. Queen c5, king to b1, knight e7, bishop e3 attacking the queen, queen a5, queen f2, king c7, Knight e2, b5, bishop d2 attacking the queen, b4, instead of b4 he could have continued with queen to b6, queen b6 and c5 to be followed by bishop a5 winning the exchange. Now let's see how the game went. Moving back. Now white plays queen a7 check king c6 Knight c1, knight c8, queen a8 check, king to c7, bishop e3, knight d6, Queen a7 check, knight b7 prevents it, knight b3 attacking the queen, queen a4, bishop b6 check, king c6, now black is totally lost after an interesting move, knight to a5 check, now black resigns. Pillsbury wins the game. Please do subscribe and support. Keep watching Shweta's Chess Square. Thank you.